Hi everyone, my name's Michelle and this is Flossmas. This is the 5th of December. Welcome along. How is everybody's weekend been? We've had a busy day today again. Um, I took Ness to see the new Matilda movie, which was really, really good. It took her about three songs to cotton on to what the idea of a musical was. <laughs> we were both sat there and I just heard this, or, or felt this little quack, quack, quack. What's the matter, darling? Are they gonna keep singing? Yes, darling, it's a musical. Well, and she loved it. <laughs> she really loved it. We've um, we've been reading Matilda and also we've watched one of the previous videos, uh, not videos, one of the previous films as well. So she really, really enjoyed it. It was great. Okay, so what have I got for you today? I've got no actual live stitching today because nothing has been done. We got our Christmas decorations out of the loft, which is a monumental operation. I have potentially 10 times more Christmas decorations than I ever put out, but I just don't seem to be able to let them go. Um, one day I need to put my big girl pants on and really kind of strip out all the stuff that I don't put on the tree anymore. Although we have let Ness put up a little tree in her bedroom this year, which has taken a lot of the ones that I wouldn't necessarily put on the tree um, because she likes them, because they're sort of more children -y type ones. <clears throat> So that's good. She's she's very happy about that. Very happy about that. So I have got to show you actually a lot of previous Christmas finishes. So not from last year, but they're the Christmas finishes that seem to go away in the Christmas box. I do keep a few kind of Christmas finishes out in this room, um, but these are the ones that seem to go away in the Christmas box. So I'll show you those. I've got the advent calendars. I've got a freebie, um, past finishes from this year and all that good stuff. So let's get on. I'm going to start off as I seem to always do with this one and number five is over here which way does it go this time let's see what these kids are up to today Ooh. Uh, let's see. so there's a girl with a bonnet on and a boy in a Christmas hat what's he carrying then oh, he's got a little Christmas tree mm. They do look a bit shifty though. They do look a bit shifty. I do like this calendar. <laughs> For all I say about it every day. I do like this calendar. Right, let's have a look at previous finishes for this year then. So I've picked out a couple, potentially neither of which I can tell you exactly what they're called. Um, but this is a Mill Hill. And so basically you finish it with his hat on like that and it's a hanging ornament for the tree which I will back with some sticky back velvet and I did notice in the box I've already made a hanger out of the leftover beads as well so previous Michelle was very good to today's Michelle <laughs> so I've got it all ready to go <coughs> I did remember to bring up a drink today it's nearly gone but not quite and then the second one is by Pantini Pantini and I'll have to look up the name of the chart um, underneath if I can find the name of the Santa I'll put the name of that one underneath and I see this one has got a needle attached to it pretty much everything in my finished box has got a needle attached to it so I need to go back through and retrieve those needles so this is stitched on a piece of 32 count I believe um, is it basalt splash hang on I'm just trying to secure the needle back again <laughs> and it would appear that it's actually half a yard of 32 count basalt splash so if anybody's stitched anything really nice on basalt splash let me know because I've got some spare so here it is And I didn't use the called for colours, I used my own choice of colours. I used that great brick colour again from um, Silks For You, I spoke about it the other day. And the thing with this one, as with Paola's designs, there's always a great button. And so this is the button. So it is a Santa face, so hence why Santa has no head. His face goes 
on there <coughs> and obviously looks a lot better without my finger in the way so like I said I will put that stitch underneath at the stitch the name of the stitch underneath and if anyone's got any good stitches for basalt please let me know um, I saw who was it made by Michelle McGraw did a not forgotten farm one which had a whale on it on basalt I seem to remember Michelle if you're watching tell me what tell me which one that was I've got enough right <coughs> oh, best not lose that little button otherwise my Santa will be headless right let's do the number five from my Marks and Spencer's advent calendar I had a go with that uh, face wash that I got a couple of days ago by Origins uh, checks and balances it was lovely really nice somebody had commented to say that it was their favorite one and I can see why it was like one of those proper really big lathery ones um, and it was really good I don't know if I'd use it in the evening because I don't like getting my face wet at night but in the shower definitely okay so we've got black tulip by Shea and Blue now I had a Shea and Blue last year and I really liked it but it wasn't this one it's a nice little handy handbag size one so let's Ooh. try not to spray it onto anything it might not want perfume on it oh that's really nice that's that's definitely something I would wear not too florally not too um, sort of pretty pretty it's got quite a deep smell to it that's really nice really nice just before I move on I thought I'd give you a full go of me the Santa jumper so it is Santa we decided last year I think he's riding on an Allosaurus and he's got pizzas flying out of his pizza can there so we dug that out of the uh, Christmas box this year a little bit tighter than it was last year I don't mind telling you got to get on with that in the new year right let's have the freebie so this is the freebie this is thread that's red by Colorado cross stitcher and this was suggested by Jay Gouldy on Instagram and I'll hold it back there but I'll also put a picture that I've taken from um, Colorado cross stitcher oh, I've just forgotten her name Sherry Sherry's pictures um, to show you how fab that is so it says my soul is fed with thread that's red and isn't that the truth one of those unwritten rules in fact I think they have been written down that you must always have a red sampler on the go okie dokie so my stitches that kind of live away in the Christmas things now if you've watched me for a couple of years you might have seen these before but they're the oldies and the goodies you've got to get them out every year so I made this for Ness's first <coughs> Christmas I seem to remember it was finished for her first Christmas, but I don't know if it was made up. But she was only six months old. So this is her, her stocking. This is a dimensions kit. And if I can find it, I'll put the name for it, but I'll see. It was a printed kit. And I remember thinking, oh, I did this not long after I'd started doing um, cross stitch. And I thought, oh, printed kit, I'll give that a go. It was really hard it was really hard i found it really difficult because i stitched a lot at night and like being able to tell the difference on the print between these blues and these greens and these reds i found really quite hard and then i put some little pom-poms on for their hats and i don't know if you can see but there are some little beads in the middle of the snowflakes and on the top of his hat there and it's just finished with a little red backing which I think my mum did for me back in the days when I was scared of the sewing machine I've got another stocking this is a Father Christmas that is a leisure arts Father Christmas and there he is he is stitched on a piece of kind of like tweedy cloth um, and finished with 
some more of this fabric we must have had quite a lot of fabric and I've put I've actually only pinned this fur top to it because there's a pin in it I can feel it <laughs> and I put some beads and some snow on now I used soluble canvas for this because I knew I wanted to stitch it on um, on this fabric and now with so many lovely hand dyed aiders and um, even weaves and linens I'm not sure as I'd bother again it was finger killingly difficult um, and then when you rinse it off you sort of have to rub it a little bit and some of the stitches look a little bit um, a little bit rubbed from that but I still like him I still like hanging him up every year and then I have a oops what's happened here there we, I don't know what's happened there a prairie schooler this was probably one of the first flat folds I ever finished it's stitched on 18 count devosa which is the most hateful fabric in the world just in case you were considering giving it a go on devosa hateful hateful fabric um, what else have we got? This is the first little pillow that I ever finished. This is an 18 count, uh, like a fiddler's cloth, like a raw. Which says Miss Santa on it. 2018. And a couple of furry balls, felt balls. Distinctly understuffed to my, to my liking today, but... It shows a journey, it shows a journey. My, my pillows now are quite different, but I still like it. And then <laughs> my cake band, my cake band. Now, this was a very old pattern. It was possibly like a leisure arts or craft, craft arts, something like that. And it had all of the Santas from various different parts of the world. So I'll show you it as a, a big, big long one. So you've got Greece, Finland, France, Hungary, England, Germany, Russia, who's that? Norway and Holland and America. And it's crackling because on the back of it we put like um it's like a greased paper it's permanent it's not grease proof paper that you buy from um in a roll i went to the stitching shop and i said and i said the sewing shop and i said i want something um it might even be the fabric that you would line uh, a wash bag with because what i wanted to do is to be able to wrap it around the cake without any of the mess of the cake coming through into the stitching because my mother doesn't always put marzipan and icing down the sides of the cake. I'm not, sure I, I'm not sure where I stand on that, to be honest, being a lover of marzipan and icing. But there we go. And I left a good bit at either end so that it can be sort of sized to fit any cake and we just push pins in there so it fits a decent sized cake I can't remember what sort of size cake it fits but it fits a decent sized cake and we all like Christmas cake so um we always have a big one mum <coughs> mum is the Christmas cake maker as well as the mince pie maker now I one day I might share with you her recipe for the pastry that you use for mince pies because it is epic it's so short it's almost like shortbread um i think it's called john eli pastry who was the cooking canon is that right i'm sure my mum will be straight on the text to tell me that i've got it wrong if i've got it wrong but they are the nicest mince pies ever they're amazing what? The other thing that you ought to know is that this room is almost at critical point, critical mass. 
there needs to be some sort of intervention and fairly soon. <coughs> and this is my other one, which is another another Dimensions kit. That perfume's lovely. And it's this one. And again, I'll have to put the name of the kit down, down below. It's stitched on 18 count with all the called for threads. And I stitched this when I was pregnant with, Le with Ness. Probably I started it, so she was born in February, so I started it that Christmas. And I stitched a lot of it. I remember stitching a lot of it when I had insomnia with her as we got towards the due date. And I was kind of, I also, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, I can't remember if I told you this, I tore an intercostal muscle when I was pregnant as well. In two times I've done it. Um, and so I sat up quite a lot stitching on this, I seem to remember. And then he comes out every year as well. But he lives in the box. I've added a few more floss tubers who are doing um, Flossmas to the last video show notes as well. But just to give them a, a shout out, we've got Stitchy Rach, Weedy Flower Creations, and there was one other that I've added. I can't remember. I'll have a look and I'll mention them tomorrow. I'd like to give people a nice a nice shout out. Stitchy Rach is doing a lot of um, yarn adverts as well. So if you've got a, a penchant for knitting, then um, she's doing a lot of those. Right, let's have a look and see what day five has got to offer. I'd like to have a little peer. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, buttons. Love me some buttons. Look at those bad boys. Love that one. Little cardinal and the little uh, peppermints. They could be just baubles. Little uh, holly and, um, you said holly and ivy, holly and berries. And a little sort of gingerbread house type, bird house type thing. Ooh, I like those. I wonder if they've got a specific pattern to go with them or whether they are just, just specials. I'll keep an eye out to see whether everybody's getting the same ones, whether there's a bit of variation, whether there's a pattern to go with those, you never know. I'm gonna put mine on my ring so that I know where they are and they're not gonna sneak away. I am loving this advent calendar. I am loving it. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Stitchers. <laughs>